welcome back. I am so excited to share today's video because we are doing a good old Dollar Tree haul and I'm so happy that I'm like back to doing Dollar Tree hauls because you know I love the Dollar Tree so much. I feel like I'm finally at a stage with Magnolia where we can run into Dollar Tree here and there. Quick little runs though, not, not long. So I accumulated some things over the past week or so and I want to share them with you. It's all Christmas. I'm in the Christmas spirit. Are you in the Christmas spirit? I feel like it's going around YouTube. Everyone's doing Christmas things and I'm here for it. I have watched a few Dollar Tree hauls to kind of see what to be on the hunt for. And I will say, I have not seen a good amount of stuff that some other people have hauled, especially when it comes to ornaments. Mine that I've been to, I have not really seen any cute new ornaments this year. Um, and I feel like mine is really slowly rolling things out or I missed it. I don't know, one or the other. How do you feel like yours have been doing? Do you feel like yours are like ahead and on it or do you feel like yours are kind of like Eh, not the best. I do feel like now my Dollar Trees aren't near as good as when I lived in Orlando, but it is what it is. Let's hop into the things I am so excited about, which is so much Dollar Tree Christmas looking and themed candy and um, hot chocolate bombs. Like, what are these? I don't remember Dollar Tree having this kind of stuff in the past. Maybe they have, but I just really don't remember it. So this says it's a hot chocolate bomb, chocolatey hollow filled with mini marshmallows. Have you guys seen this before? I have no idea how it will taste, but I thought it'd be so cute to have some of this stuff in a coffee bar, hot cocoa bar for Christmas time. So that's why I picked up a bunch of this kind of stuff. Another thing that I found were these chocolate stirring spoons. Get out of here. This is so cute. Perfect for a little hot cho hot choco, hot cocoa bar. Another thing that I saw was this, what is this? A mini peppermint sipper. Lick, refill, and eat. What? I don't even know. <laughs> like, this is so crazy. I just think it's so cute. This stuff I think will just be so cute decorating um, my little hot cocoa area that I'm gonna do mixed with my coffee bar. There was also, hold up, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me, let me see if there was anything else with the chocolatey. Of course I had to get some of the little mini candy canes. I love throwing a mini candy cane in my coffee in the morning at this time of year. I just, I just love to do it. Another one of these sippers. These have on the back of them, oh no, the sippers don't. What had on the back of it? Oh, the hot chocolate bomb has on the back of it like a to, a to and from thing if you wanted to give it to someone. I'm curious how this tastes. If any of you have tried this, let me know. Cause I know sometimes like chocolate, especially from Dollar Tree can not taste the greatest. Um, but I just liked the idea of it, you know? Another thing that I got was, okay, so in the kitchen, I love to have little, glass jars and canisters and things like that that you can see through and it just be decorative candy or snacks or whatever. I mean, you could eat it obviously too. But I found this Sweet Chaos Peppermint Crunch and it looks like it's just like a, what does it say? Handmade kettle corn with a peppermint Thing. I thought this, it looks like it's just like drizzled with vanilla and chocolate, like white chocolate and regular dark chocolate and then some red on top of it. I don't know, it does say it's gluten free. No high fructose corn syrup made with cane sugar and sea salt. So it might be tasty too. Let, should we try it? I'm going to put, oh my goodness, it's a pretty quality, okay good quality bag. All right, let's see. Do you look Christmassy? Okay, so it does have some little bit of red on there. Is it the most Christmassy looking thing I've ever seen? No, but I do think it'll look cute in a Christmas thing. Smells pepperminty. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Mm. Let in home. Hi. Hi. You want to try? You like peppermint? Yeah. You like kettle corn? 
Yeah. Not really. Yeah, remember I had to cut a coin. Try, wait, try this. I'm gonna wash my hands up. Yeah, wash your hands, wash your hands. While she's washing her hands. So I got a couple bags of that. Now call us a Magnolia, huh? You wanna try? Mm -hmm. I wanna try some. You wanna try? Well, you, what do you have a mouthful? Mm -hmm. Here, you spit. Yeah, a mouthful of pizza. Okay, you give me the pizza. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you try that. That just doesn't taste right. It, what do you, you don't like it? You're trying it again. Magnolia likes it. It's a really weird taste. That's what? mint popcorn? It's With peppermint um, caramel uh, kettle corn. Oh, she's gonna love it. Yeah. Peppermint kettle corn drizzled with chocolate. You should give it a shot. I, I just might. Magnolia. If you are a person who doesn't like a lot of stuff <laughs> on um, each other, you would not like Don't it. touch the camera. Just say hi. 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, back to the haul. Another cute thing that I found that is Christmassy colors and could be cute if you have a little candy bar or anything are these mini carnival pops. I don't know, but they're Christmas colored and I think they'd be cute in a little jar. So that's what I'm going to do with them. I'll probably leave them in the plastic, um, but I got a couple of those. I, like I said, I was pretty impressed with their selection of Christmas colored candy and sort. That's all the candy that I got. I mentioned in my last video, the Big Lots Shop With Me and haul that I'm doing a gingerbread theme in my kitchen, I think. And so I saw these little cute gingerbread plushes and I thought, well, these would just be so adorable sticking out. I have a little tree that I put in my kitchen. Um, it's like temporarily set up. We're gonna do a whole decorate with me doing it. So I thought these would be cute. It's just like one of those like three, four feet, foot trees. Have it in my windowsill. And I thought these would be so cute, just like sticking out of the tree and then having different gingerbread themed ornaments in it and stuff. If I can find a couple more of these, I'm gonna grab them, but I'm glad I at least have two to be able to play with inside the tree. Like I said, the tree's not that big, so I don't need that much in it. These little plushes are so great to like attach to a kid's present or anything like that, a little stocking stuffer. They're just really cute. I picked up these little elf, um, what, what, you know, you stick them in something and I don't remember if Dollar Tree had these before. I think they had like a smaller version. I don't know, maybe they did have a big one like this. They're so cute sticking out of a little plant or a little tree, anything like that. You could also use these and get like a bunch of them sticking throughout your, your big tree. If you do wanna do that, I would try and grab as many as you can when you see them though. Definitely think they're a great buy. I know Hobby Lobby has things like this, but I don't think that they are near as cheap as the Dollar Trees. Another thing that made me think of like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's is this sign. I could not believe this little wood sign with the beads. It says, believe in the magic of Christmas. This to me just screams more than a dollar. <laughs> uh, it's so cute, I love it. These small berries I think would be so perfect sitting in little tear trays, coffee bar areas, cocoa, hot cocoa bars. These are a little bit smaller and they aren't frosted. And then these are a little bit bigger and they look like they have snow on them. So great little buys, I think. Little filler things. Also, you could sprinkle them around a garland, anything like that. Okay, Dollar Tree always has boxes and they usually have some good boxes. This year, I didn't see a bunch of boxes at mine though, but I did find these that I thought were cute. Oh, wrong one, hold on. This one goes with this one, yes. So this one just says Merry Christmas, and it has this striped side, which I thought was really pretty. And then, of course, they had to have a red truck moment. So this one says tree delivery, has little Christmas trees right here, which I thought was really cute. Some more boxes that Dollar Tree had, which I love these too, especially decorating like little shelves. Um, this one says, what is this one saying? Twas the night before Christmas and the gold with the sleigh and the reindeer. And you can see Santa's little hat right there. I thought this was really cute, very classic. It also says it right there. These are the kind that you can open and have something in there if you want, but really cute to either stand like this or sit like this. Love it. And then along with those, they usually have these in like a bunch of different sizes. This one, I 
could not resist because I love a classic looking Santa. It makes me so happy with the little button nose and the rosy red cheeks and this Santa, oh, he delivers. Look at him. Oh, I love him so much. So, so much. So, so cute. And what does this one say? Santa's Christmas list on the side. Really cute. I, but this one will be displayed this way. Maybe like, I don't know. You could display it like that. So many different ways, you, things you could do with it. You could even like stick something out of it, but then you'd lose Santa. I don't know. I can't imagine not showing the Santa, but such cute boxes. I got some more. Oh, I forgot I got, okay. So I got a little one of the little Santa. So maybe I could do something else with it. Again, has the little Santa's Christmas list on the side. Love, obsessed. I can't get enough of that. <gasps> okay, so my idea, uh, this box made me think of it. I love this. It's the most wonderful time of the year, a little gift box. I love the mistletoe and holly. Is that mistletoe and holly or is it just holly? Maybe this is just holly. I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. The Christmas greenery and I thought, I'm still trying to figure out the theme of my main tree, but my idea was, is to you put gift boxes in it as like some of the accents in it. Obviously you do ornaments and, and, and sprigs and twigs and all those things, but to have some fun with it, maybe do some gift boxes. And usually Dollar Tree has really cute boxes like these. This Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree, only had this box. However, I do really like this box. It's very classic looking. So I'm going to try and incorporate some of these boxes. But now, seeing that, hearing myself say it out loud, maybe put some of like these little gift boxes in there too. I need to head back to Dollar Tree and see if I can find some more boxes. Also, if you've seen any boxes like this that you think would be really cute in a tree, let me know what to look out for. Also, let me know, do you do a theme for your Christmas tree or do you kind of just put together things that you've accumulated over the years? I'm very curious to know because I never really used to have themes to my Christmas tree until I started seeing everyone else do it and like watching designers and stuff. I'm like, I guess I need to start having a theme for my Christmas tree. So, you know, just in the past couple years, that's new to me. So I'm curious, do you have a theme for your Christmas tree? And if you do have a theme, what are you doing this year? Let me know, I find it so interesting. And I don't really have any other themes other than my gingerbread one in the kitchen and this one in uh, my family room, my main room. But I also have a tree in my dining room. I have a couple trees in my dining room and then I have one in my den and then I have one in the office and one in the gym, and one in my daughter's room, my oldest daughter's room. So I'm not gonna theme all of them though, but I'd be interested in maybe having a cute dining room theme one. I don't know. What are your thoughts? <laughs> okay, I did find these ornaments. Like I said, I didn't see that many different ornaments, but I thought that these were pretty. They're very like classic Christmas, red and green with some gold. And I thought these would be pretty in this tree. I thought that these ornaments and the look of like, hold on, and the look of like this box, they go really well together. Like I think that I want my main tree to just be very like, classic the house that we're in is very traditional old you know it's a 108 year old house so i just kind of want to like for this first year as our main tree be like a classic christmas look kind of and the tree that we ended up getting if you follow me on instagram stories you've seen my saga with my main christmas tree if you don't follow me on instagram you should i've been trying to story over there regularly and share more like day-to-day -day things when i can't really get videos out as often as i would like so definitely follow me over there if you want to see some more content about decorating things that i find that i want to use so this tree that I ended up getting, which I have a video coming up soon where we're, we put the tree in and all of that stuff, but the bulbs are like bigger and it's just kind of more of that like classic traditional Christmas tree. So long story short, I think this stuff should look really cool in there, really nice, really perfect, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I have seen a bunch of people hauling these little things 
Mine were pretty beat up. I, did I get one or two? Oh, well, I guess I just got one. They also had this in just the black and it has, it's just like a plastic wire underneath. And I think that some people have been DIYing these. I don't know, but I just thought this could be cute in a little bathroom on a shelf or something like that, just the way it is. Another thing that I found that I have no idea what I'm really gonna use it for, but what do they call it? This is called from the Crafters Square line and it's just some fabric and it's it's red and green striped. I think it's interesting that they have this kind of stuff now. Oh, this tag, I was gonna see um, exactly how much fabric you get from it. Like I said, not sure what I'll use it for. I'm sure I'll figure out something to use it for. Let me know if you've picked up any of this fabric, what are you gonna use it for? I'll gladly take some inspiration. Okay, so how much is it? So it's this much. Not huge, but for a dollar, I'm sure you could do something cute with it. And then speaking of fabric, I found this pom-pom trim. It says that it's three yards. I think they had it in red as well. Maybe not, because I think I would have gotten the red. I'm sure at some point they did. I just don't know if mine did. But cute, definitely something you can craft with and do with it. So fabric, I'm... I don't know how to sell, so it has to be not something I need to do to sew. It has to be something that I don't have to sew. You know what I'm saying? Now is the time that Dollar Tree always has so many of these LED wire lights out. This one requires two AA batteries and it has these little candy canes on it. I just thought this was really cute. Again, great for a little coffee bar, a tiered tray, like a small area that you're decorating of a, a, like a uh, what am I thinking of like a little tray in the middle of your coffee table or an ottoman or you know anything like that I think this would be cute. I'll tell you though Like this doesn't have a timer or a remote or anything and I am obsessed with my ones that I get from Amazon My little twinkle lights. They take AA batteries. They have remotes. You can put it on a timer I just swear by them. I love them. You can get them in Christmas colored lights. You can get them in white lights they're so great. I will link those down below. I've been updating my Amazon um, store with all of my current favorite stuff. I have a section on there that's just like Christmas decor that I love and I have those lights linked there too. And I'm trying to update that more regularly because I use Amazon so much and I like to be able to share what I use all the time. So if you are interested, that will be linked down below. And the ones I get on Amazon aren't very expensive, but they're not as cheap as a dollar. So these are still really cute and a great buy for a dollar, I think. All right, we are winding down to the end. I found these little candle tea light holder vases. I don't know what you want to call them, but I thought they were really cute, so simple. It looks like an easy DIY you could honestly do. You could do something like that with this fabric and do it yourself um, or some ribbon or you know whatever, but they've already done it for you and I just think it's really cute. So I got two of these. Another great thing to put into your tray, I was actually going to use them probably and I have a little half bath downstairs that has built-in shelves in there. So I was going to try and get some stuff for that. When I bought this, that's what I was thinking of where I would use it. And also this little jar has, it looks like a little DIY, but they did it for you with a little um, bottle brush tree. And then it has some little berries in there, a little pine cone, some little snow, really cute. And then also they had these little houses that you can put a little tea light in the back of them, red and green. I think, I think that's all mine had. All of these little things look so cute when they're paired together in trays and little scenes that you make. The last two things that I got are these tray platter things. This has a snowman on it with the Christmas tree. It's metal, super cute. I love the little design of this. And then they also had this little tray that has the red truck with the Christmas tree. And I thought this was really cute too. I feel like I totally missed a bag somewhere. <gasps> hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I would have been so mad if I forgot to show you these. Real quick, these little Christmas trees. I found these, they had them in black as well. So cute, I had them in my tear tray already, so that's why I forgot about them. Also, I knew, I knew they had these chocolate covered 
spoons, they're, they're candy cane ones. How cute are these? Oh my gosh. So, so cute, the stirring spoons in the chocolate and the candy cane peppermint, love that. And then the last thing I got was this little nutcracker because, or is he a toy soldier? No, he's a nutcracker and he's dirty. All right, we did it. That's everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree this past week. I hope you enjoyed checking out the things that I picked up. I'm so glad, like I said, to be back doing Dollar Tree hauls again. I've missed them. I will have lots more Christmas related videos coming very soon. I did make a playlist and I will have it at the end of the video of all of my Christmas videos from past years on YouTube. So if you wanna check out my Christmas videos from the past, that playlist will be there. It's like decorating, home decor, some DIYs, all that stuff, home decor tours, all that fun stuff. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. I am back to doing videos. I'm trying to get on a schedule, but I'm not quite there yet, but we're getting there, we're working on it. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you're doing a theme for your Christmas tree, what are you doing this year? Okay, bye. Baby, this year, it's just gonna be you and me.